So listen, if this is going to be a night video for you guys, um, the lighting is on, but I'm not really feeling it. It's okay. But anyways, um, I'm going to tell you guys what's going on with me. I did put out a video, I think like a couple of days ago, telling you guys I'll tell you. But, um, I'm going to tell you guys because the situation is getting worse, okay? That's the only reason why I'm coming to you guys. Any other day, I will, like, prolong it and just get all the information I need to get. But, I don't have time for that. So, listen. I am going to record as much as I can of this process. Um, I did record last time of my process of going through this, but <sighs> it was very sketchy. And, yeah, my phone kept dying. It kept overheating. So, to me, that was like a sign. Don't put it out. So, anyways, it's everything that's happened to me in the past is coming back. So, listen. So, a couple of days ago, I kept getting these weird headaches. Well, not a couple of days. A couple of weeks ago, I kept getting these weird headaches. Um, I had this heavy overflow in my period. Um, when I say cramps, these are not cramps. These are like somebody punching me in the guts with a hammer and then turn around taking a knife and slicing my uterus okay that's how bad these cramps was okay just to give you like a like a vision or an understanding of how they hurt so bad and so i used to have cramps a lot back in the day but they was like tolerable but when i found out i was diabetic I noticed they got real, like, on top. Like, I could not, like, I can't take them. Like, um, I do have months where I can just take them. If, like, if I over-exercise, I can take them. Or if I drink a lot of water, I can take it. But <sighs> these past couple of months, I could not take them. I had to call off work. I had to, like, stay in my bed for a couple of days. Um, I couldn't eat, I couldn't smell fried foods or I get sick. I was so nauseated to where I had to go buy medicine, but the medicine never worked. So I had to like keep that feeling. And then the thing that made it worse was like when I go to the store or when I do other things I have to do that I couldn't put off and I have to ride in the car, that was the worst. I felt like I was going to throw up everywhere and I had to like get people to drive for me or like get people to take me places and it's crazy so i got to a point to where i was like these are not normal like it's something more wrong with me so if you guys don't know i am diabetic i am type 2 diabetic sometimes these situations are serious sometimes it's not sometimes my sugars are real high to the meter say it's high then sometimes it's low and the meter says it's low so um it got to the point to where it was constantly fluctuating i was constantly going to the doctor because they didn't know why i didn't know why i haven't changed my diet so i thought it was me losing weight so fast and you guys i have lost over a hundred some pounds i was not trying to um, I was only supposed to lose 80, 50 at the most, so I can go back to buy, you know, pushing weights, but I don't know what's going to happen now because I don't lost so much, so when I, I don't know. So, let's get past this point. So, everything boiled down to it, I decided to go back to the doctor because something's not right, and I got to the point to where... When my body says stop, do something, we need help, I, I pay his attention, okay? So, well, let me just say I started paying attention. So, I was like, something's not right, I'm going to the doctor. So, you guys, I went to the doctor, and from 8 a.m. to almost 5 until they closed, I was at the doctor's office. Now, um... This is where things from my past comes back to, uh, yeah, to, to get you, okay? If you guys see me keep rubbing my mouth, this is another thing I don't know what it is, 
and this is why I'm going back to the doctor but you know how like when your mouth is dry right in the winter time you get these little slits in the side of your mouth well these little slits on the side of my mouth feel like they are if you can see it right here it's coming into my jaw like <laughs> like joker um I've been putting like different carmaxes and all kind of stuff just to like quickly heal it so it won't get so far and I look like a clown so um where I left off with okay so I went to the doctor like I told you guys I stayed there until they closed and they ran every test they could on me um so this is where I decided like just just bite the bullet find out what's wrong and then move on from there so um the first thing we figured out is why my sugar gets so high then it gets so low then i be so cold and then blah 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 so basically this brought on by me having anxiety attacks stress all that stuff that i'm not supposed to be doing and I honestly like couldn't understand why at the time and I'm probably still is having well by the time you guys see this we'll have all this stuff under control but at the time I was having and still is having panic attacks so so by the time I put this video out, we'll understand why I'm having the panic attacks, but why I am recording this, which is August the 21st, I am still currently having um, panic attacks and all that stuff. So I'm speaking on myself now and myself in the future, okay? So... Move it along, move it along. Um, speaking for in the future, as of now, we are working on getting my levels back where they were under control, where I can actually control them without trying to go to the doctor every week to get checkups and all that stuff, and blah blah blah. <coughs> so um, when I did go to the doctor, I did find out I had a laryngitis or a laryngitis, whichever one, um, that deals with your vocal cords. So, apparently my vocal cords are strained, and apparently I have a lot of mucus, like, it's your vocal cords, and then it's like a little white, like a little white tube or something, and it's full of mucus, and this was kind of feel like my voice is straining and that's why I'm, I, my, I have sore throats and I have irritation and inflammation and all that good stuff in my throat so um, they decided to go either way I wanted to go either get it scraped which is basically clean the whole thing completely out or I could just deal with it and it takes like three or four months just to um, get rid of it and that's basically you doing cough drops every day taking cough syrup every other day um, drinking uh, hot teas and things like that every day just to keep the inflammation down honestly I've been thinking about going to have that operation to where they just scrape it everything off and yeah I, I rather eat ice then take then just fill my body up with meds okay another thing that I found out that came back is I have a lump in my breast now mind you guys I breast cancer runs in both sides of my family so I I'm taking it as a big deal but then I'm like not taking it as a big deal because I'm trying to think positive so the doctor said she was going to give it like a couple of months because in one breast it's, it's a knot, then in the other breast it's just like a mass. So she's trying to see if it's going to get bigger, is it going to spread. 
but she only giving it like I think she said two weeks at the most. So if um if I don't feel a difference or or if I do feel a difference, just come back within those two weeks and you know they'll do what they have to do. So the next thing is I have fibroids. Now fibroids, I've been catching them ever since I was 16. Now mind you guys, um, I thought like you have to be like a true elder, okay? But apparently, you don't have to be, okay? So apparently what she told me, if you... If you are still in your childbearing days or, or whatever stage, then you can get fibroids. Now, which is crazy to me because I had my period ever since I was nine years old. So, it, it makes sense, but then I'm like, why me? You get what I'm saying? But anyways, it runs on my mom's side. My mom had, well, had it, but I'm not, that's not my story to tell, but my mom had it and... So, we was already preparing for me to have it, but you guys, I don't have it like, this is my second time having this fibroid situation. And I feel like, I want to go get an IVF done because I want to have a child. I don't want to be like, trying to wait for the right time or the right person or the right situation. I want a child, but... I don't want to also waste my money when I know my body cannot bear one, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to get to that point to where my body can bear a child and not fight a child, if that makes sense. And I feel like now is is at the stage where if I even try to have a child, it's just going to fight it. So that's that on that. Um, also... Another thing that I always knew when I was younger is I have a soft spot in the middle of my head. And you guys, it's like a soft spot to where like I've been pushing down on it. It'll push back. <laughs> like it is weird. Um, I never knew what it was. So they, they did cat spins and all that stuff. Um, I haven't got the results back for that yet. And I'm still waiting and it's been like. 10 days at the most maybe 11 but i'm gonna call tomorrow because i really do want to know what that is and it's been like it's been up there for years like decades and you guys i'm 30 i'm in my 30s now okay let's just say that and i want to know what this is that's all i want to know but anyways that's all going on with me i'm planning on taking you guys through this whole process Hopefully my camera will let me. Um, I tried to do it last time, but everything kept going left. And I'm like, okay, this is a sign. Don't put this stuff out. So hopefully I can put out this process. And it's crazy because I plan on doing a, like so much stuff. But it's like at the same time, it's like, girl, sit down, take care of yourself, and then keep moving. So that's what I'm going to do. I have been working, but I try to, like, cut back on days. Like, this week, I'm only going to work so many hours. Next week, I looked at the schedule. It says 60 hours. I'm not working no many. I'll probably work half, or I'll probably work 40. But other than that, mm -mm. But anyways, that's all I came to talk to you guys about. Um, because I knew I won going to feel like doing this any other time because I sleep throughout the day. If I'm not sleep, I'm working. If I'm not working, then I'm out and about with some friends or trying to handle business. So I'm like, go ahead and do it while, yeah. So I have work at 2 o'clock tomorrow. So I'm like, just go ahead and do it. Why not? But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Um, I'm going to try to eat these french fries. And hopefully that like kills my appetite for the rest of the night because yeah I'm not cooking anything else but anyways I'll see you guys in my next video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe all those good things if you guys have any more questions for me or you guys want to know any more or what's going on how I'm feeling blah 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 
Oh, if you just want to put your two cents in, just leave it in the comment section below. Of course, follow me on my social media. The only one I have is Facebook, so yeah. <clears throat> but I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys stay safe, stay blessed. Make sure you care with your family, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.